what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video without further ado let's get right into it okay so one of the questions that I've seen is should I get a flipper zero so today I'm going to be explaining that I'm just gonna head over to their website right now and I feel like most people you don't really necessarily need it but it could be extremely useful for things like NFC cards, because if you just have a ton of these little guys, oh, if you just have a ton of these little guys laying around, it might be a little annoying. But with the flipper, you can just not have them really everywhere. They're all in this one little device, and you can just select them whenever you need to. Same with um, infrared. You might have a ton of remotes around your house for like air conditioning. Um, radios, TVs, I don't know, but it makes all these little, all these devices compact into this one little device, so I feel like that's pretty useful. And then you also have sub-gigahertz transceivers, so that's things like r garage doors, um, sometimes gates, those could also be useful to have, in case like you have a lot of gate remotes or something like that. And you don't really know if you need it or not until you actually get it. Well, I shouldn't say that, actually. There's just a lot of different features, and there's new ones coming out, like, every single day. But let's get into more of the buying part. So if you were to buy the Flipper Zero, I'd recommend getting the Flipper, the Flipper Case, the Flipper Screen Protector, the dev board, and then these two are optional. I don't recommend buying the prototyping board unless you're, like, serious with, like, soldering and all that. And y you could buy the video game module if you want. I just definitely recommend the Wi-Fi the wi -Fi dev board. Then they have new products coming out. Like, as you can see, this one was actually new. So that might change by the time you get it, and if they do, I'll try to make an updated one. But, pretty much, I think that you should buy one, but it really all depends on the circumstances. Of course, like, if you're in Canada, you're not going to be buying one, because they recently tried to ban them. But other than that, there seems to be some pretty cool features. If you can't afford the Flipper Zero, or they don't ship to your area... I'll show you some replacements that you can get. One of them that I recommend is the M5C Stick Plus. There it is. That guy. So this little device is twenty dollars. It says out of stock, but like they have it on Amazon or whatever. As you can see, it's only about like the size of a quarter. It has a lot of similar features. I recommend getting Nemo firmware. And there's just a lot of cool things you can do with it. And it's only $20. So you could, you could get like... About 10. I mean 10. Yeah, so basically like maybe 7 of these is equivalent to Flipper Zero's price. Another replacement is the card... The card pewter by also M5 Stack, the same creator of this device. They make a lot of cool stuff. I might be covering a video for them in the future. The, that that little thing is a computer. See, so there's like individual buttons for each key. And one of the cool things is, is it has a, where is it? I think it's right there. There's a memory card slot that you can use. So those are some two replacements that you can have, but there are also devices that do like one of these feet, like something like just um, like NFCs. So it's you don't necessarily need this if you have a lot of NFCs, but like something that you could do is um, NFC copier.
Yeah. So there are other devices that can copy NFC, but like this one, it's a hundred and seventeen dollars. So I think it's better to go with the actual Flipper Zero, which is a whole lot. Well, it has it's like fifty more dollars, but you're still getting more stuff for how much you paid. So I'd recommend getting that instead. Um, another thing you could do is you can go over to, um, what was it called? I just forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, there are just lots of cool replacements. Like, they have multiple different devices that do different things. And GPIO is widely supported, and that's another cool feature with Flipper Zero. Those are GPIO pins. There's a new project going on where basically um, you can connect a Raspberry Pi to the Flipper Zero. That's going to be coming out in the future, I think. And see, you can connect like different things to it. You can measure radio frequencies. It's just so cool. Microcontrollers. That's kind of like the base. The display, that's obvious. That's the e-ink screen. The battery, yeah. All that good stuff. And there's just so, so much stuff to do with the Flipper Zero. So, in my personal opinion, I'd recommend getting it. But guys, do not get this for the wrong reason. You don't want to be that one person that gets, like, arrested or suspended for doing something annoying in, like, school or just out in the public. So, thank you for watching, guys. And I'm not sure if you knew, but you can actually chat on my Discord. No one's really been talking, so I wasn't sure if you guys all knew. And thank you. Just make sure to subscribe, comment, like, whatever. And bye.